what's up guys sorry it's been a while since the last video been busy been out hunting and just doing stuff around the property trying to get things taken care of but i'm gonna do a quick video on this relentless tactical belt give you a look at the box it's a little beat up i've had it for oh i guess about three weeks now right there you can pause it if you want but i ordered it off amazon i'll put a link down in the description but bought one i guess i wasn't paying attention when i clicked it and when it came in belt looked great and all that stuff put it on it was way too damn big apparently i ordered the wrong size from the drop down and contacted them and gave me the order number and everything they sent another belt out immediately they said just send the other one back you know as soon as you can and I mean, they, most places, you know, you get the wrong thing. They want you to send the other one back, and then they'll ship the other one. And But they didn't. They just sent it right away. Just said, send it back when you can. So, But they got the other one back and got the new one in and fits perfect. Love the belt. There's a coupon code there, if any of y'all are interested. They got a lifetime warranty on it. There's a little catalog they send with it. Got a bunch of different things holsters and belts and they got a few a few different models they got t-shirts and all kinds of different stuff in here they got a steel cord belt casual basket weave ultimate but this one is the ultimate concealed carry belt and it's not in the box because it's on my waist so give me just a second and let me pop it off and show you the belt okay there we go Got a nice heavy duty buckle on it. Got a little roller. Got Chicago screws. So you can change the buckle if you want. Super thick keeper. And the belt's really thick. I don't know how well you let me see. Let me find something I can kind of compare it to. Uh there's a bench made Adamus. That's a blade next to it. You can see the belt's way thicker. And this is a some thick stock. But really happy with the belt. It's going to give you all a look over. It's got a few little marks on it, but so I've been wearing it every day. I've been wearing it out here hunting. But it's holding up really good. The My biggest issue with some of the other ones I've tried is the holes will stretch out. The the Santas that I wore for years, it just completely ripped down and was coming apart. I don't see that issue with these. These seem to be way better quality. You can look down in there, you can see the layers. See where it goes from dark down to the light. Super thick belt. So the fit and finish is nice. The back of it's kind of a kind of like a suede feel to it. But definitely a heavy duty belt. It say like lifetime warranty and their customer service is really awesome even though I'm the one that screwed up on ordering it they took care of it so let's see the logo there I don't know how well you can see it out here but anyway yeah if y'all need a good carry belt I highly recommend the relentless tactical I was looking at these and I was looking at the Hanks and they're same price I want to say they were like 70 bucks or 60 bucks somewhere around in there but this one had there was like over 4,000 reviews on it and they were all five star so, i mean that kind of tells you something yeah i'm just out here today kind of give you a little zoom around of where i'm at the range and the rv and all that stuff's back that way yeah I was, came out to do a little playing around and setting some stuff up and got a few freedom seed senders in the truck got those there and pulled a bunch of old ones out that i hadn't messed with in a while just try to get them out and blow the dust off of them uars up here my 65 creed and the creed i don't know, let's see i don't know if you can see this or not about three nights ago let's go ahead and zoom in Look right up. 
there got a hog up there dropped him about 5 30 in the afternoon i came up here was checking the cameras and showed him on there it was about 7 30 when he was there i was like well crap i walk, started walking back i threw my 556 five, in the blind right there threw it in there and walked back up to the rv grabbed my 65 and came back down here i wasn't in the stand maybe 20 25 minutes and a doe and a fawn came out from up here they're kind of bouncing around out here in the pasture all of a sudden they just bolted off and i looked over and he was coming flying across the pasture like he was heading after him and he got to right about there and stopped and just he stood still just long enough for me to get a shot off but one right into his neck he dropped like a rock a six five definitely a mean round for dropping them things i've shot hogs that weren't nowhere near that big with five five six and it takes three four shots to put them down that one there that one shot just it turned everything in his neck into jello snapped his spine it was a good shot on him but that's it for this one uh, i'm gonna start setting some markers up i'm gonna start take the range finder and measure out distances put markers up so a buddy of mine from boondocker steve he's been coming out here hunting he was out this morning having a, issues kind of judging distance and everything out here so i'm gonna go put some markers up you know 100 200 300 400 500 just kind of give them a point of reference and me too when i'm out here sometimes when it's night it's kind of hard to tell where you're at and how far everything is you know from you but anyway guys that's it for this one y'all have a good one catch you in the next one later